Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You you call me Shay for short, and today we're gonna be reacting to truck food. Um I'm gonna be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. It is finally time to talk about menaces. Now in anime, there's countless of menaces out there. I mean we got niggas like Kid Boo, Madara, Broly, Pain, Dopey, Kaido, Aizen, motherfucking Griffith. Oh, uh, I say I'm about to say Deku is a menace. Like he don't, Deku don't understand. Like people don't want to be his friend. Like Deku will, Deku literally, he's like, "Hey, yo, you don't want to be my friend? Let me tell you my deepest, darkest secret." I just don't give a fuck. Like we could go on and on because there's so many of them out there, but there is one. One being that stands above them all. This being has terrorized anime since the beginning of time. It has taken multiple forms and has taken multiple bodies. But yes, I am talking about the Isekai sending machine himself, Truckoon. Truckoon is the biggest menace in anime history. I mean, yo, this truck is out here smacking niggas and shouting them on a daily basis. And what makes this thing such a savage, it has zero emotion, so it doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes you wonder, is there even a driver back there? Is this an evil version of Optimus Prime? Like, did my nigga defect to the Decepticons or some shit? <clears throat> but I've seen some of your... But the Decepticons got better cars, bro. I'm just gonna put it out there. Like, like if you watch any of the movies, like, the Decepticons have, like, the best cars. Hands down, bar none. Comments. And some of you have said, Truck Coon deserves to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. I know some of y'all probably thinking, don't tell me this nigga's really about to make a Black Air Force energy video on a fucking truck. <laughs> Shit, uh, how do I put this? Uh, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I believe that, that's what for I'm talking about. Trial. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. Let's and go. We'll see if a Let's meme go. can become reality. Shit, will Shrek Kuma roll himself into the round table of Black Air Force? Oh, look at my baby. Look how cute he is. Oh my God. Look how cute. He's so cute. Bitch, I'm adorable. Activity, find out today on Black Air Force Energy. Hey! <coughs> Shit, COVID. Whew, uh, exhibit A. All right, so now, let's ladies see and it. gentlemen, I would like to introduce y'all to our first victim, Meet okay. Sakura Minamoto. Now, on this day, she woke up very happy, about to start her second year of high school. Now, it is early as hell. It is like 7 in the morning, and she is so energetic. She is as energetic as my dog is waiting to go take a shit in the morning. And okay. It is a beautiful day, but she had no clue what the fuck was about to happen to her ass. <laughs> Oh my god. That's kind of her fault. But what about the victim? Oh yes, the victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? <laughs> No offense, it's kind of her fault because she just like ran out, didn't look both ways for across the street. Okay, I'm damn nigga smacked the shit out of her ass. This she got air. hit her so hard it replayed five different times at five different angles at five different types of speed. Now we all know in anime, if a nigga hits somebody and it replays multiple times, <laughs> you know damn well that was a hard ass hit. Damn, you hit that nigga so hard. Like the finishing blow, my nigga. Like he sent this bitch flying. And, and she is dead as hell. So fucking dead. Like she came back as a fucking zombie, nigga. Not gonna lie though, back when she said this line right here, she said that she's kind of a klutz. And I mean, shit, she was not happy because this dude is a dumbass. Who the yes, fuck just goes out into the street without looking to the left or the right, my nigga? Like, bitch, did you forget the number one rule that your parents tell you as a kid? Honey, look both ways before, before you cross, cross the street. street. Thank like, you. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Stupid as hell. You deserve to get hit by that goddamn truck, goddammit. So Thank you. She became a zombie and everything. She had to think in her head, all right, I learned my lesson. Look both ways before you cross the street, right? Right? Wrong. 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 She deserved it. I don't feel bad for the truck. I, I, I don't feel bad. I really don't because I'm literally, I mean, if you, if you get hit by a car, you die, come back at a zombie and then you get hit by a car again. Like what else? Like, it's not the car's fault. My God, Shrek Coon just 
glasses her ass again. Hey, but peep this though. Where is the driver at? Like you clearly see nobody in this seat, right? I mean, even though this guy gets out right here, where the fuck was he right here? Same thing the first time he hit her. Where the hell is the driver? Bro, I am telling y'all, Draku <laughs> is a deity. Anyways, though, moving on. Here's victim two. Take a look at this poor little innocent girl. Now she is just out here enjoying her day, talking to her big brother. But okay. little did she know, she was about to become Truck Coon's greatest hit of all time. Okay. Ha! <gasps> 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 <laughs> oh god oh my god yo the nigga didn't even slow down this truck hit this little girl harder than e edp on the prowl like my god bro her body is gone like my god bro that was a one-way ticket to the damn shadow realm like she got oh my god. real quick and Jesus. look at homie bro he like what the fuck just happened Okay, so I'm gonna say this. This is this is just me being me. Okay, my mom always said, "Look both ways before you cross the street, and you ain't gotta be the first one at, right when that walk sign go." Okay, you let other people go first, and then you walk. Okay, you you don't want to be that you don't want to be that person that you want to just jet out and then and then that car that's trying to beat the light run through the interstate and in, um interception. It's kind of her fault too, cause who, like, shoot, let let my baby sister run off, and I'm right beside her, and she think that's that that's cute. Wrong answer. I couldn't do that with my older sister. Wrong answer. My my baby cousin can't do that with me. Wrong answer. Like, I, I guess they giving these kids so much free reign. She look like she's six. Well, she don't get no rights. You stay here until I tell you to go. Cha cha cha. Take your privilege. My God, yo, this is just another dumbass kid that did not listen to their goddamn parents. Thank Look, you. Nigga. Look both ways before you cross the street. You got it. But I know some of y'all probably gonna say, but CJ, look, the light turned green. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Look both ways before you cross the goddamn street. Listen up, kids. This is what happens when you don't listen to... Oh, look at my baby. I mean, he's possessed at this point in time, but whatever. Your parents, you get fucking isekai. But I know some of y'all probably still like, but CJ, the light was green, so she had the right away. Okay, fine, fuck it. I got a theory for you, nigga. So listen up. <clears throat> what if Truck Coon put this girl in a Genji suit? What? Ah, <laughs> hear me out, damn it. So listen, listen, listen. Why is she the only one that goes out into the street? And everybody out here looking at her like, what the fuck is this stupid ass bitch doing? <laughs> what if the light was red for them and it was green for her? <laughs> so that's how Truck Coon led her to come out into the street to get fucking <laughs> annihilated. Hey, hey, but you know what? That's just a theory though. But I just want y'all to see the carnage of Truck Coon. How he blasted this girl into three pieces of meat, Connie style, nigga. And then some nigga like, Wow, look at that dragation. She, wow. Wow, bruh. Look both ways before you cross the street, okay? Like, call an ambulance. What the fuck is an ambulance gonna do, my nigga? She is dead as hell. And then look at all y'all at the funeral, sad and shit. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson. Look both ways before you cross the fucking street. Or Truck Coon's gonna come out of nowhere and put ah. your ass to sleep. So, so this, so what we already seen, like what? Th like two, three examples of a truck hitting a person that did not look both ways before the cross the street. I don't think it's a menace. I just think people, I think this helps out with the Darwin Awards a little bit. Like, bro, this is a problem in anime. Like, niggas don't even know how to look both ways before they cross the damn street. Even the parents sometimes, like, look at these dumbass motherfuckers. They deserve it. Blasted. Gone. And she had to just look at that and just be traumatized for the rest of her life. Like, I guarantee you in the future, she's going to have PTSD of Truck Coon. But anyways, yo, uh, that's Exhibit A. Like I said earlier, I hope Truck Coon taught us a very valuable <laughs> lesson today. Look both ways before, before you cross, cross the, the street. street. Or else yep. the Isekai machine is going to send your ass to sleep. So, uh, on to, uh, Exhibit B. 
I, I now still... we all know Truck Coon is known for sending people to different worlds, but we're gonna talk about Truck Coon's cousins real quick, Tractor Son and Train Chan. Now all three of these deities have isekai three notable protagonists: <laughs> Truck Coon isekai Rudius, Tractor Son isekai Kazuma, and Train Chan isekai Tanya. Now out of these three deities, the one with the greatest feet is Tractor Son. Ah! Now when Kazuma died, we all thought, oh shit, he got hit by a truck trying to save some girl. Wrong. He died of shock. Pure shock! The nigga didn't wow. even touch him! Tractor Son literally killed him just by his presence being there. You know what this reminds me of? This wow. reminds me of when Shanks pulled up on Whitebeard's ship and he was so damn strong, niggas were passing out because they couldn't withstand his presence. Like this nigga has Conqueror's hockey! Tractor Son has the will of D, my nigga. I mean, look wow. at the fear in his face. Like my God, yo, this might be one of the worst deaths in anime history. And then we can't forget about Train Chan. Train Chan Isekai, the menace herself, Tanya. That is a feat that we cannot ignore. Like wow, Tanya has a... a very, very good chance to make the table. And Train Chan Isekai the bitch. Like it was so bad, God literally stopped time and said, <laughs> Hey, listen here, little nigga. Your ass is about to get blasted. But I'ma reincarnate you though. There you go. I'ma have to Isekai your ass real quick. But <laughs> so yeah, that was exhibit B, the Isekai exhibit, and it is finally time to move. See, I don't think that's a that don't I don't think that's a make it even minutes. I think the people if if you get pushed in, I think the people that push you in front of the train tracks makes you a minutes. I don't think the train actually did anything. It's only thing it has only not like it's not like it's Thomas the train is coming up and it's like stealing your lunch money. Stop jumping in front of train tracks. Stop jumping in front of cars and look both ways before you cross the street. Moving to our final exhibit, <clears throat> Exhibit C. <laughs> Now we all know Truck Coon is known for brutal hits, but sometimes Truck Coon doesn't even have to kill them. Sometimes Truck Coon just likes to get characters a little scared, such okay. as this little nigga and he raced. Now as we see, the driver is asleep. Obviously, that nigga Truck Coon put his ass asleep and took over the wheel, cause he said, I'm trying to catch another body today. So Truck Coon almost blasts his kid to oblivion, but Satoru comes to the rescue and saves the kid. But even though this little kid got saved, that look, if that kid got hit, it would've been his fault. You see a truck, coming and you don't move out the way you can move backwards nah 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 i'm just gonna stand here i'm just gonna stand here and i'm just gonna get i'm the, the truck is gonna know that i'm here and it's just gonna swerve y'all putting way too much faith y'all putting way too much faith in this stuff bro you can see the fear in his eyes, the fear in his face. This little nigga's gonna be traumatized for the rest of his life. But what if I told y'all the he kid wasn't the target? What if I told you that Satoru was the target? See, Truck Kun knew Satoru was gonna be a protagonist and help this kid. So he took advantage of that. He said, fine, I won't kill this little nigga. I'ma kill you. So Satoru grabs onto him as planned. Then Truck Kun beautifully assists his ass to goddamn Karsama to finish him off. My God, that was a curry type of assist right there. So Chuck Kun accomplished two things in this scene right here. He absolutely traumatized this little nigga and sent Satoru to the past. But there's one last thing that Chuck Kun did that is absolute. Don't, I don't see, bruh, I'll be a good defense attorney. Don't blame Chuck for that one. I blame, I blame that, I blame that stupid kid that could have walked, who could have walked backwards. And then you always have to have a Captain save -a And then that's how, that's how you end up getting hurt, bruh. What, what, you think on a one, two way lane street, you don't think other cars are gonna come the other way? You just think you just gonna, you you think you in the matrix? What, no, no. You think you in a simulation to the point where you could just do all that? Nah, other cars are gonna come on that side of the road, okay? And that's what you got. You got Merc Molly Wapting sent home. Go talk to Jesus about your, about, about why you was deciding to do this stupid stuff today. Absolutely insane, and we cannot look over this. Y'all remember when Yusuke was getting chased down by Truck Coon? Like this motherfucker was out here blitzing Yusuke, bro. Oh my God, bro! Look at the fear in his eyes right now. Nigga probably having PTSD from the first episode when he got hit by a car. My nigga, like, oh shit, 
here we go again. <laughs> Alright, so I bet Truck Coon was thinking, Alright, so the car failed to do the job. So fuck it, I'ma have to hit the nigga myself. Like, look at Truck Coon's determination. This nigga was determined to end Yu Yu Hakusho early. Motherfuckers like, You should be dead, I'm just here to finish the job and <laughs> the timeline. You are an anomaly and you shall be eliminated. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Truck Kun is a divine being that watches and sits over all the anime universes mm. to make sure everything goes according to plan. <sighs> okay, we really need a bigger table now. Because the ultimate mechanical life form has entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like this Nick. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't think he's a menace. I don't think he's a menace to society at all, okay? I don't. I, I don't. It's a god. Like, he literally goes into each anime patrolling looking for <laughs> stupid niggas to run the fuck over. I mean, Truck Coon is the anime Shinigami. He is the god of death. I mean, no wonder when Light wrote this man's name in the death note, Truck Coon came and cleaned his ass up. Like, just mop the nigga off the floor. No warning or nothing. So make way. This nigga is here. So, yeah, all that okay so that that was uh truck coon is a menace i don't okay i don't think truck coon is a menace. okay that last clip the last clip of them driving through the thing okay yeah that that makes it a minute that, that that's some evidence against it but a lot of this stuff is just like a darwin award like they they're doing stuff intentionally to get hurt so like am i mad at the truck no why did, what, why was that girl biking in in the opposite lane what you don't think another car is going anything could have came by and killed her okay people running out people running out without looking both ways and people just being a, i'm sorry so uh so that was my that was, that was my thoughts on that that was my reaction uh thank you i'm i need to try to find i want to try to find uh vegeta's is a menace because i i promise you if i can defend if i can defend uh truck coup i can defend vegeta with all my might because Vegeta has never did anything wrong. And that's what I'm going to stand by. Hello, uh, so again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandma, like my grandmother always says, so long. It was a nightmare. 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 nightmare.